This is episode 28 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy or answer questions about random things going on in the world. We've covered sports. We've covered politics. We've covered health, all those things. And today we get to get into another health question. This is something that usually get at the beginning of summer, but we're, I'm getting a few health questions, weight loss questions at the end of summer, and I think my overall opinion of health and weight loss is if you're just healthy and you eat healthy, you're not going to have these moments during the year where you need to drop 20 pounds or 30 pounds or 40 pounds or even more. You don't need to have get your body ready for the beach. You don't need to lose a bunch of weight after the holidays. If you just eat healthy and treat your body right and do everything you're supposed to do that's good for you, you don't have to have these moments. But I got the question, and the question is, how do I lose 20 pounds? Now, how you lose 20 pounds is how you lose 10 pounds, how you lose 30 pounds, how you lose 100 pounds, how you lose 200 pounds. And it's also how you stay healthy and maintain your health. I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. So I'm going to basically leave out all the working out stuff. It's important to work out. It's important to be active, to move around, get your body healthy, get your blood flowing. It's good for your body. It's good for your mind. But the number one thing to help you lose 20 pounds or 50 pounds or whatever is cut out the sugar. You will be amazed at how much weight you can lose by just cutting out sugar. That's it. That's it. So if you are a little bigger than you want to be, if you are a lot bigger than you want to be, cut out the sugar. So just to give like an example of like how I can relate to this. So I was... I have, a, I have a pretty bad sweet tooth, but I was always very cognizant of that fact, and I would not eat a bunch of sugar, or I would eat sugar like on weekends. I would do it like that, but what I would also do is I wasn't really careful about the breads, the pastas. You know, I didn't think like a little spoonful of sugar in my coffee in the morning was a big deal. You know, maybe a cookie at night for dessert, one cookie, two cookies, you know, like what's the big deal? you know, eating sandwiches at lunch or it was just, I felt I was eating relatively healthy. I was working out, you know, pretty hard. I was cycling more at the time than running. I'd cycle, you know, between like 100 and 200 miles a week. I was lifting weights. I was making good time cycling. I was lifting heavy weights. Like I felt like I was in good shape. I cut out the sugar and I literally dropped 45 pounds. So I went from 225 to 180, one, you know, high 170s, 180, just from eating healthy. So one saying I want you to remember is you can't outwork a bad diet. My, uh, my brother-in-law just saw him a couple weeks ago in Tully Ride. He dropped about 25, 30 pounds. He's in ridiculous shape. All he did was cut out the sugar, stopped eating, you know, stop eating like the cakes and stuff, stop eating like the breads and, and the rices and the pastas, 25 pounds, and he's already in really good shape. So what are you, how are you kind of sabotaging that? You got to think about the sugar and the coffee in the morning, the the sandwich you're eating, maybe the pastry, the cookie, the pasta for dinner, the little bowl of ice cream. The, I mean, there's all these things that just add up. And your body is designed. This is one of the beauties of the body. It is designed to burn fat. But what happens is there's like an order that your body uses, that your body burns in. 
sugar comes before fat. So if you have sugar, if you have too much sugar in your system, you got a lot of sugar in your system, you're going to be burning that instead of burning the fat. So when you get up in the morning, maybe it's just a, a teaspoon of sugar in your coffee, but you shut down your fat burning until at least early afternoon, maybe early evening. The chances are you're going to eat something else in between that cup of coffee and that dinner and that fat burning uh, zone that your body's going to be in. So you have sugar in the morning, you know, you're, you're burning sugar, you're burning sugar, you're burning sugar, and then you drop in a bagel or you drop in a pastry or you drop in a candy bar, you drop in your sandwich at lunch or you get a little pasta for lunch and then you're not burning any fat until the next morning. Chances are you're probably going to eat something in the afternoon and then something in the evening that's going to push it so you're not so you're burning fat even further out. You have to eliminate the sugar in order to get to fat burning mode and you once you get in that you will drop weight like that. It will be unbelievable and it's a healthy and sustainable and it's a lifestyle kind of a move. Now, if you're like me and you like sweets, but you want to be healthy, the thing that's good is you can throw in a cheat day once a week. But the stipulation is you have to eat like a champion for the other six days of the week. Eat like a champ for six days, and then you can drop in and be gluttony on that seventh day. You want ice cream on Tuesday? Save it for Sunday. You want a burger on Thursday? Save it for Sunday. Just add it up and put it all in that one day. And what you notice is because we're just, all we are, our whole lives, all of our lives are just habits, good habits and bad habits. So what have we allowed ourselves to get into the habit of that's good? What have we allowed ourselves to get into the habits of that are bad? So this is a good habit. Eating crappy is a bad habit. We're swapping them out. And what you'll notice is when you start eating well, you feel better. You sleep better. You recover faster. You have more energy you're happier, your stomach feels better, you're pooping more. I mean, all these things that, that, that make you feel better. And then you'll have your cheat day and you won't feel so hot the next day. And what happens is you'll start wanting to feel better. You'll start wanting to feel the way you did throughout the week. And those cheat days won't be so intense after a while. And you cutting out all this bad stuff is going to get your gut healthier. And your gut healthier is going to be your digestive system's working better. And your digestive system's working better. Your brain's working better. Your body's working better. And you're just going to feel better and better. And then before you know it, you're in the habit of treating your body well. And you've lost weight. And you look fantastic. The secret? Cut out the sugar. So let me just make this real easy on what you, the stuff you guys can eat. Pretty much any vegetable. You can eat as much vegetables as you want, salt, pepper, olive oil. Potatoes are not a vegetable. Do not put potatoes in. Potatoes will spike the crap out of your insulin levels. Potatoes are, it's like eating sugar. So no potatoes. But pretty much anything else in the vegetable aisle, you can eat. Fruits. No pineapples. No grapes. No mangoes. Berries. Strawberries. Blueberries are the best. Blackberries maybe some raspberries. I use grapefruit, even though it might be a little high on the sugar side as far as fruit um, for vitamin C and recovery, but that's usually only in the summer when grapefruits are fresh and delicious. No fruit juice at all. Don't even ask about it. It's not going to happen. Don't do it. Um, uh, Like snacks and stuff, almonds, walnuts, um, pistachios, things like that, not cooked in oil and covered in kettle corn and whatever that crap is, none of that stuff. Um, beans, like pinto beans, black beans, lentils, all that stuff. Again, not cooked crazy, not cooked with a bunch of lard, none of that, none of that stuff. Meats, all meats are good to go. If you can afford it, get the, get the, the free range, get the wild, get the grass fed, Get the healthy kind of meats. It's not sugar. I get that. But all the crap that they put in the the animals to make them bigger and fatter and faster and whatever they do. And then the crap that they give them to eat is is awful. Um, So the more you can avoid that just for an overall health thing, the better. For desserts, gotcha. There are no desserts. Remember that. One day a week. 
But if you need a little something sweet, save the berries for the end of the day. Maybe a little spoonful of, of almond butter. And this sounds, depending on what your diet is right now, this sounds like it's going to be difficult. And it's it really isn't because once you get into it, it's just a routine. Once you allow yourself to get on a routine, you're on it. But you have to give yourself the time. You have to be persistent with it. On those tough days where you, man, you want that piece of cake. Man, you want that bagel. Don't do it. Because that one bagel or that one piece of cake that you could have on Wednesday will be the difference between having 48 hours of healthy eating and fat burning and 96 hours of of healthy eating and fat burning. And you're going to give up 96 hours of fat burning and healthy eating for a piece of cake it doesn't make sense right so save the day save it for sundays or saturdays or whatever it is that that your cheat day is going to be and what you'll find out is not only are you going to cherish that 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 sweet food and that garbage food or whatever is going to be even better but you're going to start looking for higher quality stuff you're not just going to want any piece of cake you're going to want the best piece of cake you're not going to want just any donut you're going to want the best donut so your quality of food is going to go up your standard of food is going to go up because you don't want to waste those calories that you're eating and that cheat day on crap so this is simple as possible i'm more than happy to to discuss this stuff more if you want to find me on on snapchat and twitter or, or now the new, if you want to find me on Instagram, and we can do the whole Insta snapping thingamabobber. You can do that too. Um, cut out the sugar. It's amazing what your body can do without garbage in it. It's amazing what how you can look and how you can feel when you're not bombarding your body with sugar, and we do it all the time. No sugar, no fake sugar. No breads, no pastas, none of that stuff. Cheat day, knock yourself out. During the week, don't do it. And I promise you, you will be dropping weight and you will be feeling better and be healthier. It's going to happen so fast. Let me know how it goes. Good luck with everything. And I will see you guys soon. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what?